fun one since it's summer I figured why not make some candy coolers if you don't know what a candy cooler is it's basically a smoothie with a bunch of your little favorite candies on top of them so you're gonna need whatever you use in order to make a smoothie the things I use are of course your fruit I'm gonna use these frozen strawberries and some blueberries as well pineapple juice a half and half creamer and of course your favorite candies in your blender go ahead and pour some of that frozen fruit it should be looking as so you can go ahead and add like a second fruit or even a third fruit if you desire to pour your juice so I poured a little bit of juice and I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of that creamer in there um, as my substitute for actual milk make sure you shake all the stuff you use I'm gonna go in and pour some blueberries in there just a little bit pour whatever frozen fruit it is that you're using or that you're mixing your fruit with so my blender is currently looking like this I've added pineapple juice creamer strawberries and blueberries so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it and I'll be right back since my fruit is actually frozen I don't need to add ice but if your fruit was natural and it wasn't um, already frozen go ahead and add ice because if not you're not gonna have an icy consistency or a slushy consistency <laughs> While your smoothie is mixing in there, go ahead and open up all your candies. These candies were actually four for four at Walgreens. Okay, so I just finished blending my smoothie. It looks like this. Make sure it is well blended um, so that there's no chunks of that frozen fruit in there. I think it's super fun if you pour it into like a little jar and you can decorate it and make it really cute, especially if you're using this as an activity. Or if not, you can go ahead and pour it into a glass, a cup, whatever it is that you wanna use. So let's get to it. So this is how it looks once you fill it up with that smoothie. Don't fill it up all the way to the top because you are gonna need that space in the top to fill it up with some candy inside. Summer has already started, so this is definitely a refreshing drink just as is. But just to add some pizzazz to it, I'm gonna put some candy. And like I said, parents, you can add a little bit of, you know, that good good, but this is a kid-friendly video, so I'm not gonna be adding that right now. I'm gonna pour some in here for my mom. So this is how our jars are looking right now. It's kind of like a berry smoothie. I put strawberries and a little bit of blueberries. But like I said, you could have done it with any fruit. I really want to try this recipe using mangoes because that is my absolute favorite fruit. Let's get to decorating. Candy that's best to use for this recipe is any type of like sour candy or gummies. Candy that I personally chose, the Sour Patch Kids, the Trolley Bites, Sour Punch Straws, which I've never had, but I just figured it would make a, a really cute replacement for regular straws. And then I also got Airhead Extremes, which I'm gonna also put in there and make it like really colorful, really fun. So let's get into it. I've set up my little candy table for you guys so you guys can see better. I have my two smoothies right here. I have my Sour Worm, Sour Patches, Airhead Extremes, and those Sour Straws right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. I think I'm gonna start off with the actual worms. Put them in there, just kinda like throw some in. I'm gonna put them all to one side and then I'll put the sour patches all to the other side. Now with my sour patches, I'm gonna go ahead and put some in there as well. Now go ahead and add a straw. So, so far this is how they're looking. This is optional. I just have some colorful toothpicks right here. You're gonna go ahead and grab one of those. Then grab one of your Airhead Extreme Bites. And then just kind of like fold it as so. And stick a toothpick right through the middle. Since it's on a toothpick like this, go ahead and stick it in your drink. And it really makes it pop out. So this is our final result. It looks so yummy. I'm gonna see if the straw works. You can actually drink out of them and then I guess eat them at the end. It's so good. I love sour candy. It's so good. This is definitely a really, really fun activity for you guys to do at home. It's really easy and really refreshing, especially during these hot summer days. I'm really, really impressed. I had never made these before and this was not only really fun for me to do, it's actually really, really good. So that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys try this at home. It's definitely worth it, super fun, and super yummy. So I'll see you guys soon, bye.